this is the current state of my shop slash garage. And like most shops, it's a bit of a mess. There's stuff all over the place and nothing really has a place. So I'm going to attempt to build a new workbench that allows me to store a lot of this stuff away uh, and reclaim some of the space so that I can still park the boat in here and park the park vehicles in here while at the same time being able to still uh, use it as a shop when we need it. Oh, you bumped into my camera. I recently acquired this old DeWalt radial arm saw from 1960. It used to be my grandpa's and I've been planning on getting it back up and running. So I decided that I'm going to go ahead and make it the centerpiece of the shop and to build the workbenches around it. So I've been playing around with some different designs and SketchUp, and this is basically the end goal. Uh, this is what I'm shooting for. I have the, the radial arm saw as the centerpiece to everything. Uh, as you can see, that I have that in the middle. Uh, the band saw is to the far left. I have a, a, a large table on either side of the radial arm saw, which acts as an in-feed and out-feed table for that saw. I also have some equipment put away underneath. As you can see, I have a... Uh, a lathe over here on the right side. I have uh, my joiner. Um, I have the planer down below and some other equipment. So um, with this design, I should be able to still pull the boat in, pull the cars in and reclaim some of that space. But then when I want to use it as a, a, a shop, I have these assembly tables that pull out from underneath. Um, those tables also act as an outfeed table for the table saw. I also designed these tables so that they open up so that you can access the equipment that's inside. Uh, you can see the lathe there on the right hand side and that was the primary reason why I designed it this way. I don't plan on using the lathe all that often and so to be able to store it away and then take it out um, only when needed uh, just seems like for my specific situation, it, it'll probably work out best. And that way I can reclaim a lot of the space that it takes up in the garage um, and then still be able to access it when I need to. Now, I'm not really sure if it's going to work out. I know that when you use a lathe, you typically want the, the workpiece to be just below your elbow. Um, but in this case, I'll have to use a chair and sit down when whenever I need to use the lathe. But if you know, I really don't anticipate using it all that often. Uh, so again, with my specific situation, um, this should work out. But if it doesn't, uh, I'll move it out and, and give it its own space again, or, or maybe move it to, to one of the larger tables up on top. Um, so and then also uh, here, let me I'll close those again. And uh, the drum sander, I have uh, a little bridge design there so that if I have some really long boards on the in-feed or out-feed feed table for the, the radial arm saw, I can fit them underneath. Uh, I also have uh, a planer down below, which you can see that I can uh, run boards through there. And uh, let's see here. Oh, I also designed uh, this chop saw bridge for my other saw so that I can reuse the assembly tables if I needed to have two saws running. Uh, then I also will have an in-feed and out-feed table for that saw. And uh, you can see I have these uh, knobs on here. So um, I'll have some bolts going through the assembly table so I can just attach that when I need it and detach it when uh, I don't. And uh, so that should store away nicely underneath on the bottom. And the only reason why I have these arches in here is so that I can store larger items such as the air compressor and my chop saw. Uh, so that I have a little bit more clearance above them so that I can slide those in easily from the side. Uh, otherwise, um, I'd, I'd really be limited as far as what I could put on those shelves. So that's really it as far as the design goes. Uh, this right here is the end goal with everything put away. Uh, so I think what I'll do is I'll start with the radial arm saw. And I'll start by building what they call a, a Mr. Sawdust table. So that's this, uh, this main table right here. And uh, so there's a, a process that I have to go through to build that table. And uh, so I'll get started on that in the next video. And I'll build um, uh, the main stand for the radial arm saw. And, uh, and then from there, I'll use the radial arm saw after I get it adjusted and calibrated to build the rest of the shop tables.
So stay tuned for my next video and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.